I'm fucking sad. Alina, there are kids watching our channel. <laughs> Some Logan Paulers are watching our channel, Alina. Exactly. At least fake cry for the video. Take care of the kids. One thing I always do whenever I'm watching any video is always put it on 2x speed. I mean in the end you're just consuming information so why not just take shorter time and consume more information there. I'm going to just make out of it this thing. I mean it takes otherwise too much time. We actually have now a lot of machines. So that's a griller, that's a tea cooker, that's a bread maker. And this is how the metal mushroom looks like now. But I've lived in a hostel so there's nothing I can't eat. I mean, I'm telling you, every single one of you who is living in India right now and who is living with their parents who doesn't have to cook food or eat in a hostel, you're lucky. You don't experience those days very often in Germany. Whenever you want to cook, even if you're hungry, nobody will be there to give you food. You have to get up, make food or order some. I mean, there were some things I wanted to discuss with you guys. I know you are in India right now and because you're on the channel, you most probably want to just go to some other country and study there. This whole thing, this whole application process and um, coming here and everything could be a bit confusing, but it is the easiest thing you can go through, especially for Germany. I don't have any idea about Canada or USA. For USA, you can always go and check out part for Germany it is like really really simple everything is written you don't have to worry okay these are the documents written but should I also get this document or something I mean there's nothing like that everything's clearly mentioned what I generally miss is just sitting down with you guys and telling you what is actually going on what new things are happening what changed what's boring what's not so today is 14th February and there is no hype in Germany like you guys are having in India that video I don't know so many people have forwarded that meme to me and I don't know what's the whole hype about I mean okay the, the girl is cute and the guy just fell in love somehow but I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, don't get too senti about it. Alina went to Turkey, she's meeting a friend there. They were going to school together in Germany. And now she's doing her foreign semester or something there in Turkey. So Alina is just going there and visiting her because, you know, because of her work and stuff. It's very hard for her to take holidays. And I have to stay here because of my exams are going on. I just had one exam on Tuesday. I will be having another exam on Friday. Talking about exams, some of you were asking what are the type of exams or like how is the assessment and stuff. I mean to tell you guys honestly the assessment is really different for stream to stream. For example in engineering field most of the times what you will see is you just have a written exam in the end. Exactly the same way how we used to write in India. In management fields there is this tendency that you have to give more presentations, you have to do more homework, you have to do more assignments and stuff like that. So there is more distributed tasks at regular intervals and engineering there's like one huge task in the end. Like that is your final exam. The problem in these exams are time. I mean the questions are a joke I'm telling you honestly. If you survived in India you will definitely like do more than better in Germany. The only thing is whatever scripts or whatever lectures that the professor gives you just go through them very very carefully it has to be very accurate you cannot just write a huge novel of what i have been doing these days because i cannot really motivate myself to study for these exams i start studying just the night before and i mean till now it's working out so no issues at all the thing is in murtal in my old university we were in this habit me and my friend vikas like we were also roommates 
we would really sit down the night before we will start really studying and going through everything and you guys know that in india the semester slavers it is way more than what you have in germany but still like we could manage it somehow so i don't feel like german exams are so tough i think they're okay but for some fields like mechatronics and stuff students complain a lot that oh my god i don't know what i'm going to do in the next exam but i think if you plan your time properly which none of us engineers can do it doesn't work with me at least so i have to wait till the last night of the exam and i have to start studying then now even if you get bad grades afterward what my aim is that i'm trying to do a lot of different things on the side so yeah when my masters is over or something and when the uh, interview he asked me like what did you do why do you have such bad grades i have two really nice excuses for that first i'm a foreigner and second i was trying a lot of different things so i couldn't really focus on the exam but the real reason is like 22 years of study was more than enough <laughs> i want to address the part where the parents are really concerned all the time when they're sending their kids abroad to germany to canada to australia to usa whatever country it might be if you are a parent and you're in the same situation i just want to tell you that in western countries everybody is really independent so as soon as the children or the kids they hit 16 or 17 they're all Already out of the house they're living somewhere else they're living on their own they're doing a job and stuff so people appreciate individualism here if you can cook yourself if you can just figure out things on your own if you can just go to the internet and search about some things you know these things can go a long way so as long as you cultivate this habit of doing things by yourself when you come to germany you wouldn't have such major cultural shock it will be just like normal okay it's difficult to understand how the people take and stuff but that is something you will learn with time even for me i've been living in germany for more than a year now and sometimes you find it difficult to connect to germans at all because i don't know they just think differently indians are more on the emotional side they try to make good relationships they also want to have the colleagues as their friends the germans really don't think this way colleagues are colleagues friends are friends friends in general for germans they're like really really uh, less number and I speak German it make things a bit better but again in the end it's still like how you connect with people don't take my example just whenever you're here try things on your own you know everybody is in a different situation and everybody will have their own stories no two stories will ever be same now talking about the community in germany around 70 percent of the people that i see like they are from south india so you will hear them speaking some kind of language they wouldn't be able to speak hindi with you but you can communicate in english punjabis are pretty less uh, i think they're still like five ten percent but like a lot of them who came in as refugees and stuff and then afterwards in general north indians are very less and most of the times the students at least connect good together the high nosed indians who are here living in germany who are very rich and they really just look down on you if you're just a student or something else there is a huge percentage of that too but in general like whatever students who come together who are living together studying together facing struggles together now they connect well with each other now there are still a lot of regional divisions going on i mean the student elections are going to happen in our university and i've been talking to some students and it seems like people have already made groups according to regions so Malayalis are going to vote that guy, the people from Tamil are going Tam Tamil Nadu are going to vote that guy, from North they are going to vote that guy. I mean there's nobody from North so uh, that's not a question anyways. But still like these are the things that I find sad sometimes like whenever some politics kicks in or something it's all about the regional stuff and not about who is doing what. So yeah, I'll be running for the president of the Indian Students Association in TU Hamburg because I have a lot of ideas that we can implement which can change things. The first thing I really want to do is have a really strong alumni group because till now the Indian Students Association or the Indian Students in TU Hamburg, they're not very well connected to the alumni. So whatever students who leave their studies, they are doing their jobs, their contact with the students right now, it's very less. So I'm going to try and bring more people into the alumni group like Amitesh was there, now Malini was there, there's one more lady who is working in Airbus and she will be on the interview sometime soon. So that I can bring people together and the students who are studying in the university right now, they have a better idea about their future, what kind of companies they can work in, what kind of job options they have and stuff like that. But it is really difficult to do these things if you're on the outside. So this is the major motivation why I want to run for the position of president for the Indian Students Association. Like in that sense, you have a better authority, you have a better way 
of dealing with people you can bring students together under some kind of leadership and if everything works out if there's regional politics and everything it just goes away i can just break through it somehow i will go and talk to students i mean you have to do that of course if you want to run in elections and i'll see what happens because this is something that could turn out to be a milestone in the indian students association thing I mean, there's already so many nice things going on. They're picking up students, they're having events, they're helping students out and their stuff. But still, I mean, I've been on the outside trying to do everything through YouTube right now. And I think that's the best way too. The people who are interested, they watch you. The people who are not interested, they just go away. But the people who stick, they really care about you and they really know what you're talking about. So yeah, that's that. My exam will be on Friday. Uh, the exam will be just for 45 minutes. Now, another interesting thing, in Germany you don't have exams of 3 hours like we have in India. It's either 45 minutes, 120 minutes, 3 hours are rare, like 3 hour exams are very very rare. Also once the exams are over, I'm planning to take a bit of a round trip in Germany, maybe go to Stuttgart, Frankfurt and Munich. I'll meet some students, I will first ask them because I still don't know anybody in Stuttgart or Frankfurt or whatever city I'm planning to go to, but again, like I'll just go to the university and see, or I'll just write in the Facebook groups and see if somebody volunteers to help out. Go and talk to the Indian community there, see what's going on, uh, go to the universities of course, that's the most important thing. And because I still don't know anybody in these cities, I will be like putting up a video maybe. Then I can make a nice campus tour and you can watch it. If you have any questions, you can also like tell me, I can ask them. And there's a lot of different things. The main thing I'm trying to do is just to connect to our roots better. I mean, okay, if you're in a foreign country, nice, everything is fine, life is awesome and stuff. But you should never really forget where your roots are. So if you have this sense of community, if you have a really good network and people just care about each other, and try to help each other out because this is something I feel like it's it's still lacking in Germany I mean when you come to Germany it's anyways hard to find friends and if you can just connect with your own community better I think like that's more than enough well that was it guys if Alina was here I wouldn't be having so much time to just record myself in front of the camera but now I have if you survive through the whole video you can just write big fam in the comment section and write whatever you're thinking or whatever thing you want me to discuss or if something you found interesting interesting or whatever just write it down in the comment section let me know because i like reading your comments and then i know what you're thinking what kind of feedback there is and i can just improve or change those things in the next video well that was it guys i'll see you in the next video maybe when alina is back here she'll be coming on sunday back to germany i'll be picking her up on the airport and maybe there will be another vlog but we'll see no promises because on monday i have my accounting exam and that is in german which sucks the whole world is going down. Yep, bye.